um welcome back to um the video so um in this part uh we're creating the um air for the the ham as you can see so um i've tried to check out the the way air actually like you know like the the places where you have air on the on the arm so um i don't have any image here but like i can see some of them on my phone you can check you can do research and try and go try and go closer to people that have air all over their body so you can be able to see how this thing works so i'm not going to do something that is too complicated you know as simple as possible so you know the normal thing we do come to description you say but come on uh, maybe um air uh, then description and then you change it to placing and shaping guide then you create so um the air is always like around the upper part of the arm here the lower part is always excused so i'm going to start creating my guide let's say something middle here um then somewhere here and then somewhere here. so i'm going to start with that uh you know the normal thing we do we're going to put this density to like five um then change uh this to 0 0.2 so it can be as tiny as possible then you're going to taper the tip and then i'm going to save as soon as i'm done with that i'm going to open my hyper shade and then from the hyper shade i'm going to select the arm air eh? i'm going to look for our uh air eh, temp that was used for the brow uh the beard and the air eh? so all of them can just be on the same shader so that's about that um because the the air on the hand is kind of always like coil i think but first i'm going to apply noise i want to noise it out and then i'm going to give my cv modifier to 50. um so i'm going to add um a co coil to it so this coil is too much so probably going to decrease it so you can see what we have here so uh, let's say a little bit more just depends so I'm going to shoot my noise to from tip up so I'm going to shoot my to 2 and then I'm going to put my frequency to 2 so the air is kind of too long so I'm going to change the length to 0 0.5 um, okay so now that's about that i'm going to add more to it it will get to maybe i'll just come this far let's see this is where i want it to stop you can see that i like working with my uh, wireframe because it really helped me with the placement of the guides so it's a good practice that you consider you know the wireframe where you are placing so uh, i want to have some um okay let me still check my one frame so i think here yeah, i want to have some one here some here too and then maybe or uh, one year one year and one year so basically that's about that so, so if you hide your arm so you can see this you can see that we not half the so there's pretty much not much to do here down to so i don't want to increase the density i think i like the arm being like this but if you don't most times if you are not having a close-up shot you might not be able to see <laughs> this but well that will be when i get to rendering uh i'll figure that one out so now i'm going to bring back my scalp and then i'll just do a paint for the scalp so i'll say um arm uh dense map or something so make sure you set this to 50 so i just want to use this to uh indicate where the air should be so we'll do the normal thing uh flood everything to be uh, um, to be black and then I select my white for the color of the brush um and then i just paint the part where i want the air to be so you can use your imagination if you know 
or you be you live with somebody that has air all over the body and stuff so all these things is you, know, you can just gather a friends online you don't want to be doing this kind of stuff without actually knowing where it should be make the air no company like say the guy na baboon or something so just want to be careful and make sure that you do your research properly so i'm going to do this um i just noticed that my this because i restart my started my maya so the stroke is not on reflection so um probably going to you know flood this again i want them to be symmetrical as possible as much as possible so thankfully it's not something that will take much time to redo so so um paint that parts so yeah that's it that so i can just use my um blow brush to smear just more small more like smooth the edges you know so i can still have some small 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 uh the some small strands of air on the edges not that not like everything will just stop uh i don't want that that's because of the uv of that's the part where i cut the hand from the uv so it's kind of but it's not doesn't really matter so good i'm going to just save that map so i'm going to hide the hand so you can see what i've created here so the down parts nothing is happening but the upper part uh, some serious air and when, when you look at the arm eh, it's not always regular just you know, scatter up and down so uh, i think uh that will do for this so I'll, I'll just need to do now is just mirror this to this side and then you can have a eh, yeah now so i just want to in other cases i might probably want to put some here put somewhere put some here but i think it's too uh much for this guy to to bear so on uh, the next one i'm going to create uh the chest air eh? and then lastly i'll be creating the leg which is more or less like the arm here yeah. so i'll see you around on this part we'll be creating uh the chest air eh? so uh, with my scalp or chest scalp being selected so i'm going to create a new description so i'm going to name it boda camo um chest a uh, description so please and then this so basically the the air is going to be like around this section here so um it should be more straightforward so i'm going to put one guide here um then the, um maybe another one there another one there another one there another one there so uh for a start yeah so i'm going to put this to be five and then i'm going to be putting this to be 0 0.02 just like i did for the arm i'm going to bring this down um okay and then i'm going to make sure my modifier still counts is at 50 so um okay from my modifier i'm going to use noise first i'm going to turn my noise to two two just like i did for the arm so i'm going to raise this up i'm going to go for coil and then so i'm going to decrease the coil and then lastly i'm going to um put this to be 0 0.5 uh, i want the chest air to actually be more probably more um, taller so then again we'll come to our hyper shade i'm going to select the uh, the description for the chest air and then i'm going to add our initial uh this thing to it uh, shader to it so when you pin this so it means that i need to add 
or some guides to this part which is the left okay so that's okay I'm going to mirror this now to the other side so now I want to paint my density for the chest so we'll do it the normal way chest a dense mask so uh, we'll do the normal thing where we we'll flood everything and then with my brush you can isolate the chest and probably you know for you to see things you can just uh, okay um, I'm trying to paint it's not complying so to find out what's going on uh, from here okay I'm on my blow which I'm not supposed to be at so I'm going to select this again isolate it and then turn my wireframe on and then I'm going to paint so it's supposed to be somewhere around here So I'm going to just use my blow brush to just or smooth spot out. So you can smooth it as much as you want. So save that and then let's see what that looks like here. So I think it's actually okay. So I think uh, this will work for me. I just want the uh, okay, I don't have the singlet here, so I just want the air to just show, you know, from the singlet up here to just show. Okay, this guy is an, is, is a very airy character. So, ah, uh, that is that's the that's that's that, you know. So um, since this is a uh, um four minutes already, so I'm going to try and create the uh, leg scalp, uh, but the leg air along with this actually. So. So this is going to be like a two-in-one kind of thing so let's just go ahead with that so i'm going to select the leg scalp and then on hide that um the air is probably going to be around here you really have air like towards the back here but i can just create tiny tiny ones you know um so create a new description i'll say uh boda camo leg air um description rather because we are still using the same collection so um i'm going to place um description of our guide here um turn this to at edge so i'm going to keep placing my guide maybe here um yeah 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 and then here so i'll do the normal thing send my density to be five the width of the air is going to be 0 0.2 0 0.02 uh, maybe the length 0 0.5 just like we had for the other ones so i'm going to taper it in i'm going to um go to my modifier um first and check put my cv count to be 50. go to modifier select noise uh, okay and then select uh coil so from noise i'm going to lift this up so to affect uh the root as it affects the tip so um i'm going to bring my coil down really so uh, okay and then i'm going to set my noise to be two for the magnitude and then two for the frequency so then next thing is to open our hyper shade make sure that we are giving the leg the same air which is air temp okay which is it so probably the last time we'll probably be doing that so uh you see what this looks like 
I'm going to um on eye that and then put more guy there. So um this is probably a problem because um it's facing the direction that I have. Yeah, well, that's my problem. It only means that to we'll be doing a lot of fixing, which I'm not really a fan of in most cases. Well, we have to do what we have to do sometimes so that's number one um, okay and sometimes it actually doesn't really matter because everything is uh, I know everything is not facing the direction everything is going to be coily so you, you know sometimes you probably don't need to care about that so I'm going to place this place this place this and then yes I'm going to do it at the back too but in this case um i think i'm adding to places that i want it to be okay no yes fortunately it's adding to the other side or something um I'll just leave that So basically uh that is that so okay I think I this will work for me. Um I don't want you to get to this because when you remove this now suddenly the air just stops here which doesn't really make sense, you know. <laughs> so I want you to stop around here and then maybe just fade you know I'm fading with my uh smooth brush there. So I'll bring back my legs cap. Uh, we'll do the normal thing. I think we painted the uh, density map for uh, all most leg air. Like all, all, all the description as the density map are uh, painted. So I so just select this and then um, flood. Make sure I'm on paint and then start painting. Uh, basically yeah so um painting but in another case i can just have this to be 100 percent and then not paint black since black is not really having much uh much of a thing around so so when you paint around the edges yeah, you can have something like this all these kind of things but just ignore them and just paint them out so it only happens when you paint around the edge yeah think it's some kind of a UV problem so uh, that's none of our business for now so it's even affecting the second part mirror so um I want to use my blow brush now to um, to just okay come back yep so to just do this can have can have funny sometimes but if you know what you are doing you always do and then redo so I'll save then I check again so um I think it faded out now really good so uh, if I hide this then I can have that so uh, I can take all my guide and mirror to the other side so um that's the idea so uh we can just go back to the other ones and start bringing them in to see where we are so um now we have been able to create all our x gen eh, for this particular character so i'm going to hide uh, the leg guys yeah so um i might make a render of this whole uh, thing maybe in another scene but it might not probably be here uh, because i don't have the render uh set up here but i might probably render it in another scene so that you can see uh maybe posting an image of this but this is my character basically it's for uh it's my intellectual property and it's for content uh, creation so you probably be seeing a lot 
and then you'll be seeing all this air and everything on his body so i'm probably going to create a i'm working on the uh, the facial rig actually um so this is the end of this whole series and i just want to believe that at this point you have learned a thing or two uh from my approach and then you can be able to apply this to your characters you know and you can tag me to them to see what you have been able to create if you have any questions or some part of this tutorial is not really clear to you feel free to ask me questions and i, I really want i really want to see what you are like able to create from this tutorial uh all the methods i'm using here it took me a while to actually like figure them out i i, I use a lot of try and error uh but at this point i'm really like you know satisfied with what i'm getting though in some cases uh, i i push you know to actually achieve more results but it's still the same approach you use work with the the modifier you paint the density you know that is just the way it is uh, so don't forget to uh, subscribe if you love what you have watched and you have gained something and you can share to somebody out there that you think might actually need to watch this uh, so until next time uh, i'll see you guys around